Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a project share of all these cutie patootie tag mini album flip book thingies I've been making. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I've been making so many of these and this is not even all of them. This is just five of them. I have made nine so far because I've been on this roll. I just got addicted to them. Once I figured out how to make them and how I want them to look, I got addicted and I just keep making them and I can't stop. I wanna use up all my paper and make all these cutie patootie mini albums. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys in detail all of these um, mini albums. We're going to go through all of them. And in case you guys want to know how to make one yourself, I do have a video class tutorial. Guys, it's my first ever video class tutorial and we're going to be making this one in the video class. And I hope you guys check it out. I hope you guys like it if you do end up purchasing it. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of it. Um, there's four parts to the video class, so four parts, you're going to learn how to do every single thing. We're going to make the base together, we're going to make the hinge, all the tips and tricks, how to attach the charms, how to make the pockets, when to do the stitching, when to be gluing, everything guys. I'm going to show you guys everything in detail. So let's get right into the video and I'm going to show you guys what this even looks like. So I'm addicted to making these and... The, the phrase I'm addicted doesn't even begin to cover it because I literally want to go through my whole entire stash of paper and make mini albums out of everything. <laughs> They're so fun and so adorable. So this is what it looks like. It fits so comfortably in your hand. You could put this in your purse, take it on the go with you. You could journal or document things on the go while you're on a weekend getaway or a day trip, which, which is what I think that this is perfect to document. Um, so for this one in particular, this one we're doing in the video class, but let me just go over um, what I used. So I used the Flourish collection for making this one. We're using um, some, some paper pads for this one specifically. Um, so it says, hello sunshine and stay positive. I've got these charm dangles, which I'm going to show you guys how I attached in the video class tutorial. Um, I've got the star shaker back here and that was actually gifted to me by Cheryl in some happy mail. So I'll have her channel linked down below. Um, but on, on the side here, I think this was the heritage collection, but I thought it went together with the flourish. Um, all the crepe paper seems to kind of just like go together and work together. Um, this is the back. We've got all the seam binding closures and all the seam binding peeking out, which you guys know I get from my scrap cabin shop. And I just posted a haul video on um, some more colors I got recently yesterday. So you guys could check that out or check out her shop. I'll have it linked down below. So when you open it up, here's what it looks like. On the front page here, I just have this left blank, but you could feel free to add a pocket here. And, and I do show you guys how to make the pockets throughout the album, but feel free to apply that to the inside cover as well. You could totally do that. Here, I made a cute little tuck spot with a cut apart. So I'm just showing you guys that you guys could tuck something behind it. So we do that together. We make all of the pages together. And like I said, they're all pocket pages. So every single page has this tag. You could add a photo here. You could do some journaling on the back, which makes this the perfect album to take with you on the go because you could journal on the go with you. It's so perfect, guys. So when I designed this album, it started off completely different. It started off with just a flip book um, with no like spine or hinge or anything. And then it turned into like a sewn in hinge, um, but I wasn't 100% happy with it, so then I tried this one out, this hinge and the spine, and this is what I'm happy with. So this is what the tutorial is on with the way that these five are made. I do also show you guys how I attached all of these fun journal cards in here. I show you guys and tell you guys when you should be stitching if you're stitching, but I also go over when you should be gluing things if you're choosing to glue instead. I have this journal card here that says love life. And another pull out tag. Feel free to add more goodies to that. And any of these pages, guys, you could add four by six photos or five by six photos. Just cut them in half and put them across. You could also just do smaller photos if you choose to do so as well. 
three by four photos are going to fit comfortably on these pages and anything smaller even four by five photos will fit great on these pages but if you want to do four by six or five by seven you're just going to have to cut them in half so there's that one uh, we did this page here i have a pocket and i show you guys how to make that pocket in the video class tutorial when to stitch it how to stitch it and whatnot um, here's a journal card I just included in there so you could add a photo to the back and journal on that side and again it's also got a pullout tag here that you could journal on the back as well and they've all got eyelets so this album accounts for um, the size of that there's still room to grow um, but yeah the first one I made which just got so chunky way too fast that I had to um, make a spine and a hinge and everything just to account for all of the eyelets in the tags. Um, so here's the next page. Here I have this cut apart that says you make me happy when skies are gray. That's what that looks like. I've got another pull out tag here. Then this next page I made another pocket here and here I added in this three by four card that says totally with a journal card on the back. I've got this four by six card that I folded in half and it says oh happy day and more journal space on the back. So perfect amount of journaling. I've also got this pullout tag here. Look at those peacocks. Such beautiful paper using the Flourish collection. I've got more three by four journal cards here. And this time I got two, so they flip out in different directions. And I've got another pullout tag here. So it's absolutely perfect. All right, so that is the one that we're going to be making in the video class tutorial. Again, link is down below to the tutorial in my digital Etsy shop. So you guys know it's a digital file. It will include your cutting guide. So all of the measurements for the pattern paper, the cardstock, the chipboard, all of the measurements are going to be listed for you. And then you're also going to have links to the four parts of the video class tutorial. So yeah, link is down below in case you guys are interested. And let me just flip through the rest of these. So for this one in particular, the Flourish one, I used a paper pad. For the other four of these, I used greeting cards. So, so sometimes there's the greeting cards that you could buy in like a pack by Crate Paper. And I used the greeting cards for these four, which turned out really, really well. And you could totally do that instead of a paper pad. Um, but it also does work with paper pads, which is why I chose to show you guys that in the tutorial instead, because it will give you that option. Um, so here, this one is using the Fresh Bouquet um, collection with the greeting cards. I've got this dream thing here. It says, I can picture it now. Dream and let's do this. Um, it's got another little dangle. And they're all very similar, but feel free to add other stuff into it and change it up. Like I said, I show you guys how to make the pocket so feel free to add an additional pocket on the inside here if you choose to do so um you could add in more tuck spots here and whatnot so here's this one that says happy happy heart you've got another cut apart here that says count your blessings then it flips you've got all the tags and they're all um pretty much the same just with different um paper collections this one's got a pocket on this side and this journal card you could journal on the front and the back. It says love here. You got another pull out tag. Another double flip out. So fun, guys. And so much space for all the photos and all the journaling. And I just love how small it is, which is what got me so addicted to making these. Because it's the perfect thing to take with you on the go. I love it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that all of these have this tuck kind of pocket page in the center so you could add in any memorabilia maybe ticket stubs receipts whatnot that you want to remember and document later on you could just add them in here um and yeah it's perfect so it's a nice little other little pocket inside here's the next one that i made with the fresh bouquet collection this one says shine and be a light it's got the um it's got the little charm dangle there too and they're all very similar, so I'm just going to quickly flip through this one. I mean, this one's like almost exactly the same as the other one. Actually, I think it's very much the same. Here's one I made using the Fresh Bouquet collection. This one says, Happy Happy Heart. You've got cute little dangles on here as well. 
and this one looks like this so i used a combination of papers here this one is chasing dreams this one is carousel um, and then the rest is garden party so this is garden party the cut aparts are just from my stash garden party cut aparts from my stash there's a cut apart here that i folded in half and it says be smart be charming be kind be silly and be you and then the back and again these all do have the um tags up here as well this one says memories here but yeah here's all the pull out tags you make me happy in another journal space and then there's another journal card in here as well and then i don't remember what collection this is from but that's some other collection also so i just kind of coordinated with what i had in my stash and then this last one that i have to share with you guys today this one has a charm on the side um, instead of the front because I couldn't figure out where I wanted to put it on the front. So we just put it on the side for this one in particular. And this is, this is what this one looks like. Just other papers on the front here that I have in my stash. But feel free to also just add in your, fo your photos here, your photos here. Obviously these are for photos and for journaling. Um, so you could add in your photos wherever. I just love these so much. And I know plenty of you guys have been asking me for a tutorial on Instagram and it's finally here and I'm so happy to share it with you guys. So again, if you guys are interested in the tutorial, please check out the link in the description box and down below. It is a video class tutorial. I hope you guys like it as it's my first one that I've ever created. Um, I did have a friend of mine test it out and she said it was very informative and she learned a lot. So. I hope you guys do too. I'm sure you guys can make one. I mean, this is my ninth one now and I'm just addicted. By the ninth one, I'm sure you guys will be professionals also. But I hope you guys have fun making this if you do choose to purchase the class tutorial. Otherwise, I hope you guys are just inspired by my project share of the many different mini albums I have been making. And that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, everything is linked in the description box down below for the video class tutorial and the seam binding and whatnot. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. So thank you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.